Hello travelers and welcome back to another episode here at Tours to Local. My name is Juliana and for the past couple of days we've been spending our time on Vision of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be testing out one of the Royal Caribbean shore excursions to Cinque Terre. It's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous and I'll be taking you guys along with me to know what you can expect on the shore excursion. I know how it is when you get that tour book in your cabin and you're wondering what tours are worth it. Well today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what we do on this tour. It is nine and a half hours. We met at 7 a.m. very very early and we're going to be seeing a lot today. We are on a bus right now and then we'll be going on some boats. I have no idea what else to Expect. Now technically our ship is docked in Livorno and it is necessary that you take a taxi, a bus, a train, or whatever to do anything nearby, whether that's going to Pisa, to Florence, whatever. So for that reason we decided to do a tour in this city because there really isn't anything to do directly off the ship. This is the place that you'll definitely want to book a shore excursion. First stop on our tour is Porto Venere. It is one of the most beautiful port cities here in Italy. Luckily this tour does include a one hour walking tour of this city, which I'm glad because I really don't know where I would start off my journey. We have an hour here and then we're catching our boat. Grazie. You know you picked a good tour when they give you free pesto samples. <laughs> my favorite. We stumbled across this beautiful old fortress and church. The sun is shining, the sea is glistening, and I'm very, very content. We are going down to the water and walking back to go onto the boat to go to other places. And if we're late, then we're stranded here forever. Okay, Mom, what do you think of this so far? It is so gorgeous. I can't believe it. It's really cool because I don't know if we would have ever been able to come it's here on our own. <laughs> you know? No. Being with a tour is really, really nice for this place. Yeah. I have someone talking in my ear right now. I feel like an agent. Oh, yeah. They give you these little radios with an earphone so that even if you're like far away from the tour guide you can still hear what she's saying which is a really nice feature. on this nice little boat. We're going to be going to Monte Rosso next. And I'm really excited for this breeze because we are oh, sweaty. I already feel it. I am sweating to death. I cannot describe in words how gorgeous this place is. Seriously, this might be my favorite place I've ever been. My favorite excursion I've ever done. It is so, so beautiful. I feel like I'm in Mamma Mia, but like Italy version. Italy Mamma Mia. Sense. It does make sense. We see like kids jumping off of rocks, people kayaking by, sailboats, and there's this awesome jazz and music. And this dreamy jazz music. I'm just, it just like, makes us feel like we're in a movie or glamorous. It's a, it's a UNESCO site they've been thinking about limiting tourism because of it's just so crowded and if you could look over here on the hills and there's lines of people trying to get on the ferries. We made it. Next stop, Maturosa. Um, we are going to a wine tasting to look at it. And we have free time until 2.30. Lots of time to look around at all these beautiful shops, hopefully get a pizza and some gelato. I think the highlight of this tour was getting off of the boat and they greeted us with fresh ice cold Italian white wine. What a great welcoming gift as well as some bruschetta with pesto or olives. Delicious. What a nice touch. Sailing up and down the coast is absolutely beautiful. Now Monterosso is a part of Cinque Terre. It is popping today and right now we're on an adventure to go find some pizza, some gelato, have the Italian experience, but first we need to find an ATM. That's one thing you need 
need to know about this area is that the internet connection isn't the greatest, so therefore it may be possible that you can't pay with card at your restaurant. So make sure you check it beforehand. I'm glad we did. We're gonna get some money. But a lot of them were super crowded, so we found this place. They have pizza on the menu and pasta, muscles, and everything you could possibly want. I swear, the menu would take me about 15 minutes to get through. And there's so many options. So we're gonna dig into that. I'm ordering a margarita pizza because I'm basic. What are you getting? Margarita pizza. And mom? You're the same. We ordered ourselves some limonata. It's their sparkling lemon drink. Super delicious. Cheers. Ching ching. You guys, mistakes were made. We ordered three margarita pizzas. One has come so far. We didn't know it was this big. We could have split this all three of us. So be warned, the portion size is huge. Oh no, here comes another one. <laughs> Yep, bon appetit. I spoke too soon. Look guys. Oh, I ate the whole thing. Minus the crust. I'll get to that. Livy got pretty far. Mom okay. also. You guys are tied. Yeah. And I just have a very big appetite. <laughs> found it. So we just got gelato um, at this place that's kind of right off the dock um, and I got strawberry. It looks super good. Um, it's 250 euros, 2.50. It's not like 250. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished our time here in Monterey so next we're hopping on a local train. We walked through more of the city and enjoyed beautiful views of the ocean on our way to the train station. I thought it was super cool they included a train ride in this tour because it gives you a taste of what local transportation is like. We took this train to meet up with our bus and then headed back to the ship. That is it for this tour. I had the absolute best time. I'm not kidding when I say that this is the best tour that I have ever done. I used to work on a cruise ship. I've done a lot of tours, so that means a lot coming from me. I really enjoyed it and highly recommend it if you are coming to Italy with your Royal Caribbean cruise. Now I'm gonna go to the spa and get myself a facial and relax because it has been a long, long day. And I hope you guys subscribe so you can stay tuned with my adventures. We've got a lot coming up here as well as the ship tour and various things showing you more about my experience sailing with vision of the seas. That's all for now. So long, travel well, and make the world your neighborhood.